Welcome to Small Biz Flash, the briefing for owners and managers on small business news, trends, and insights to make better decisions and increase their business's value. I'm your host, Adam Hewitt. Thanks for joining me. By now, you've probably heard some of the buzz about the AI sensation ChatGPT. This new tool is incredibly powerful and versatile, and it can save you and your employees time and effort while helping you generate some great ideas along the way. So that's what we'll explore on today's episode, right after the news roundup. All right, let's dive in. A Supreme Court decision late last month is good news for small businesses, according to the National Federation of Independent Business. While the particulars of the case are not applicable to many small business owners, it involved an American with dual citizenship in Romania not filing the required paperwork under the Bank Secrecy Act, the outcome is seen as broader. The court limited the power of the IRS to levy penalties by ruling that the failure to file a statutorily required financial report was one violation with one penalty instead of a violation for each account not reported with multiplying penalties. Beth Melito of the NFIB explained the impact of the ruling, quote, Small businesses will benefit from today's Supreme Court decision. By concluding that the failure to file a required report is a single violation, the court has protected small businesses from costly penalties that could be detrimental to their businesses, end quote. Inflation remains a big concern for small businesses, according to data recently released by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. In a poll of over 750 owners and operators, 53% said inflation was their biggest challenge, and that held true regardless of the business's location, number of employees, or sector. The second most pressing issue was generating revenue. 22% of respondents said this was a top concern. Almost 7 in 10 owners increased prices in response to inflation. Third on the list of woes was rising interest rates, with 16% saying the increased cost of borrowing was a top concern. The Biden administration is proposing legislation that would shift some of the burden of cybersecurity from small businesses onto software makers. Last week, the White House unveiled its national cyber strategy, which, according to acting National Cyber Director Kimba Walden, quote, reimagines America's cyber social contract. It will rebalance the responsibility for managing cyber risk onto those who are most able to bear it, end quote. The administration is also contemplating ways to support the cyber insurance market in the event of a large-scale catastrophic cyber attack. You can find more information on this and other stories in the news roundup by going to the links in the show notes. Small business owners, your finances are the cornerstone of your business. You need the bookkeeping pros at SBS Accounting and Advisors to keep your AP, AR, and financial statements on track. For 16 years, the good folks at SBS have been helping owners like you make better decisions and grow their profits. So go to sbsaccountants.com today to set up a free 30-minute consultation. Use the promo code FLASH to get 20% off your setup fee. Again, that's sbsaccountants.com. ChatGPT is a type of computer program that can talk to people just like humans do. It uses artificial intelligence to understand what people are saying and then generates responses that are natural and helpful. It can help you with many things like answering questions, giving advice, or just having a friendly conversation. This can be especially useful for small business owners who want to improve their customer service and online presence. By the way, everything I just said was generated by ChatGPT. Okay, now this is me talking. ChatGPT is a conversational AI chatbot. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer and is the family of language models the AI is a member of which basically means for our simple purposes here that it spits out human-like responses. OpenAI is the developer of ChatGPT and is now offering access to the general public. It's easy to create an account, and you should, because it will enable you to experiment with all sorts of uses of this new technology. 
There are several things you need to know about ChatGPT, but first let's look at one quick example of something it can do right now to help you in your business. Let's say you're a bespoke furniture manufacturer and need help writing a blog for customers deciding on the best type of wood to choose for their new dining room tables. You can get ChatGPT's help with this prompt. Quote, Write a blog post about how a customer can determine the best type of wood to choose for his or her new dining room table. End quote. In just a matter of seconds, you'll get back a six-paragraph post complete with headers. Wow, this is really powerful stuff. Seriously. But, here is one of the things that you need to know about ChatGPT. Don't just rush to copy and paste this content to your website. First, it probably will need some refining. It may not touch on all the points you want, or the tone may not be to your liking, for example. Second, Google can detect AI-generated content and therefore punish it in the SEO rankings. Third, ChatGPT is only based on data from 2021 and prior, and it's also not 100% accurate, so you always need to fact-check its output. So for all these reasons, you can use what ChatGPT writes as a starting point, and a very good starting point at that, but you still need to make it your own and add the human touch. So let the AI do the heavy lifting, but don't expect it to do everything. Sometimes, even if the initial output isn't what you're looking for, you can ask ChatGPT to refine its response, and you still don't get something satisfactory. So, it isn't a panacea, but I find that most of the time, it gives me useful material. Next, let's come up with a solid headline for the article. You can try a prompt along these lines. Quote, Generate five titles for this blog. Make them attention-getting to furniture buyers. End quote. Out of the five it gave me, the one I liked best was Make your dining room the heart of your home with the perfect wood for your table. Now that you've got the rough draft of your blog post and the headline, keep this thread going in the same chat GPT dialogue window by asking it to write a tweet. Quote, Write a tweet about the durability and maintenance factors mentioned in the third paragraph, end quote. Next thing you know, I have a tweet, complete with hashtags. Hopefully you're starting to see how incredible ChatGPT is. But we've just scratched the surface. We'll explore some more real-life business uses of the tool next time. One more caution between now and next week, though. Don't use ChatGPT to dispense legal or accounting or other professional services kind of advice. Like I mentioned before, it isn't always accurate and you do need to fact check its output. There's a link in the show notes to the OpenAI page where you can sign up for a free ChatGPT account if you want to check it out for yourself. Thanks for listening to Small Biz Flash. I'm your host, Adam Hewitt. If you enjoy the show, please help me to expand its reach by telling one other person about the podcast. I sure do appreciate it and I'll see you next week.